So, what is up, everybody? This is Tyler Seven Two Hundred here with some dang news, and you're watching Geek Power Season Three, Episode Two. This is the Dell Dimension Three Thousand. Alright, in this series of Geek Power, I'm going to talk a little bit about something kind of interesting. So, as you might know, as my main video editing and streaming PC, basically to capture my footage I'm here in my studio, I have a Dell Precision 670 machine. So, the reason why I'm making this whole video is because this Dell Precision 670 I have has been acting really terribly lately. It's been acting frantic-y and really downright bad, and I figured out why it's acting so bad. This system currently for a video card has an NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GTX overclocked edition. That card as a standard clock, like a reference card, uh, at standard would, be, would take a total of maximum wattage of 205 watts. That's a lot of power. And um, it is no, there is no doubt saying that that thing runs very hot. It's a very hot running card. So essentially saying is, I don't even have it correctly plugged in. I've only got one of the two 6-pin PCI uh, E adapters plugged into it. Essentially, 45% of that graphics card is ran off the motherboard. So that's why the system is becoming unstable and frantic -y. Now, because of this, this is a huge issue for those who do not know. Uh, this, the reason what makes this system so unstable is if I do a lot of GPU intensive tasks such as I run Adobe Premiere. For those who do not know, Adobe Premiere, um, whenever it can, it tries to use the graphics card as a rendering source. As an example, if you try to play scenes from the timeline while it's not rendered, it'll use the graphics card instead of the CPU as a render uh, export. So basically, when, you're, when my graphics card becomes under load, the system becomes very frantic. It either freezes, crashes, does some weird that it really shouldn't. And this is very common with the machine. And when I try virtual machines where I try to load up a graphics interface, that crashes. So the machine's got all sorts of problems with the graphics card. I could fix this problem with properly making a new PCIe 6-pin adapter, but I'm not going to do that. I do not have plans of doing that, and I don't think I'd want to, to be honest with you. Because that graphics card sucks so much power out of the out of the power supply, it does make a noticeable drop in power in that power supply. And I got a 650 watt power supply in that system, so that's definitely something you don't want. So, what am I going to be replacing it with? Well, I have something that will work, nothing fantastic, but something that will indeed work great. I have an AMD Radeon HD 4350, 512 megabytes of video RAM, nothing fantastic, but for video editing, it should be more than enough of what I'm using it for. Now, this will be a very simple thing to do. Matter of fact, this will be very simple to do. I might even, I just figured I might capture it on video to really just show you guys how to do it. So. Let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so you might be notice, you might be able to notice I'm actually not streaming or recording off my desktop. I'm actually doing this off my laptop because my desktop is so freaking unstable at this point. Yeah, I've always known it being unstable, but it's been getting worse, as a matter of fact. Um, I don't know if it'll do it, but if I turn on the system, it displays improper pixels on the screens that it really shouldn't. It displays all these garbage characters which might show some corruption of the video memory. That could also be why the system's super unstable. Yeah, see it? See, that's what I mean. That's a, it, it, right on time. It normally never does it. I actually got it to capture this on video. So that's a huge example of video corruption. That's also a huge why, the, the reason why the system's unstable. This card is very well broken in. Um, you have to keep in mind this video card is an overclocked edition and it's been exposed to a huge amount of heat so those those memory chips could very well be damaged because of this and I don't blame it it's an old card it technically should be put out of its misery 
At this point, that's kind of what we're doing. So getting a driver for this thing shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I forgot to turn on the studio lighting. Whoops. How dumb am I? All right. Let's get this thing cracked open. We got to unstairs. The, like I said, this is a dual processor system, by the way. Kind of cool, I guess. Need to unscrew these stupid things back here. I don't know. They're somehow still attached. Not, not with anything big. There we go. There's one. There's two. And like I said, I don't have it plugged in with all the plugs, so... Another reason why this cystic graphics card becomes a little bit unstable. Come on. Oh, I just got her plugged in through this video, too. There we go. Look at this old thing. What a piece of crap, huh? These are old cards. This, is, this thing is compatible with SLI Link, by the way. SLI is not a new technology, if you're wondering. But this card is going to rest in peace. I'm going to retire it. The heatsink I will reuse, but the card itself I'm going to put in retirement. Um, the heatsink I could throw onto a different uh, graphics card I have, and that could really well come in handy. Now for the replacement. <clears throat> all right, we're all installed there. We're all hooked up. All right, we should be ready to go, so... Let me turn the infrared off. We'll go ahead and fire her up and see if it works. It's got to pass its power on self-test before the monitors come up. Aha! Nice, 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 nice. That's very, very good. And this system's clock battery is entirely dead, so, so I have to... Or it's not even in there, matter of fact. The clock battery holder for this thing is destroyed. It doesn't even work anymore. I'm going to manually set all these settings. I don't know. I think I'm good for there. So I seriously doubt this system is going to have... Um, it's going to recognize this graphics card and install the correct driver. So very clearly, it's we're going to have to install the driver off of AMD's website. Ugh. But this should definitely improve the system performance big time. Uh, this system was becoming super unstable with that other card in it, and it had all sorts of issues. It was crashing repeatedly. It was getting pretty bad. That card is just old school, and it was very well damaged. And I don't think I should have ever have used it. Actually, that card was out in the rain, believe it or not. This card right here. So it very well could lead up to some of the damage that was done to it. it was because it was out in the rain. How beefy of a card this is. You ready for this? That's a TV remote compared to it. That's how big this card is. It's like maybe that big compared to my hand. So. Oh, yeah. We don't have the driver. Oh well, I'll go ahead and download the driver and I'll get back to you. I will confirm one thing that I'm very proud of. The system has not crashed or became super unstable yet. So that's always a good sign. And it appears that the driver software has apparently, I don't know, maybe it did install the driver for this thing. If it actually did, I'll be amazed. But I'm going to download the actual driver anyways after this because this driver is probably very limited and it's probably not that great. But let's just see if it actually did install the driver because it said the driver software has been installed successfully. Well, I'll be damned. It actually did. So this card is not that old then. That's for sure. Well, if it installed and all is good, I'll restart the system. And it definitely would appear that this system is a lot more stable. That's for sure. This system is way more stable now than it was before. This system... It got so bad to the point where the system would pretty much instantly crash upon startup. It was pretty darn bad. So, this is a major fix.
I know you're not going to be happy about your clock battery. I didn't even bother about it. And um, I wanted to put this card in it. This right here. But this had the same issue. It had memory corruption in it. It was usable, but not by much. It was pretty darn corrupt. So I decided against it. And this is a Quadro FX uh, 34... It's a 44 to slash 3400. It's one of those, like, I don't freaking know. It's a piece of crap, though. Definitely a lot better compared to that. And it would appear that our, uh, our driver installed, not correctly, though, but that's okay. Well, it did install, but, you know, it just, it didn't, uh, it didn't go to the proper uh, thing I wanted it to do. I, so let me go ahead and fix that. Screen resolution. Move this over here. I want this to be my main monitor. And bada bing, bada boom. We are set. Okay. That wasn't too hard. And I just wanted to see if it's going to crash if I try to do this here. I'm going to try to open VirtualBox because that's where it really got screwed up. When I tried to dedicate video memory to a virtual box to the uh, virtual machine, that's where it, it freaked out and it would have all sorts of crashing issues and stuff. That's where it really had issues, trying to do virtual machines. And it also had issues for Premiere. If I used anything else but Premiere, it would work fine. But Premiere, when you're rendering and you're exporting and all that stuff, it requires you... Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. That fixed it all right. Oh, what a relief. Yep, I was right again. So it was the graphics card that was bad in this system. And this card may not be the most perfect picture. This card may not be the most picture-perfect card out there. But it's definitely something much better than this hunk of crap. This is a very old card, and it's been used and abused throughout its life. So I'm very surprised that it's... I'm not really that surprised that it's dead. Um, I'm not really surprised that it's not functioning correctly anymore. And the virtual machine didn't work correctly, but that's okay. It's fine. Uh, I don't really care that this didn't work correctly. I can always fix this. But I just, I just, now that I know that it can at least boot itself up correctly, that, that's all I care about. So yeah, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.